you're asking yourself right now, I want to play World of Warcraft, but I want to play a class that is super simple, super easy to play well. In this video, I'm going to show you guys exactly which class, which spec you should be playing if you just want to have fun and casually chill in World of Warcraft The War Within. Hi, my name is Clunkydoo. I've been playing World of Warcraft for 15 years so far. Every expansion, I'm playing all the characters, all the classes, all the specs, so I kind of know what I'm talking about. And I'm going to rank all the specs from the easiest to the most hard ones. So it's going to be super easy for you guys to actually pick a spec and start playing right away. All right, let's jump straight into it, all right? I'm going to start with Frost Mage. Frost Mage is kind of a, a medium spec to play. It's super easy to deal damage, but to be very, very good as a Frost Mage, it's going to take a lot of freaking keybinds, and it's going to be super hard to be absolutely godly with the Frost Mage. So it's pretty much a medium spec. It's kind of forgiving. You've got two ice blocks, which are going to make you super tanky, a hard hish to kill. And overall, your damage is going to be great as a Frost Mage. And then I'm going to go with... Oh, thanks, Batacole, for the follow on Twitch. Really do appreciate it, man. Thanks a lot. And then we've got Fire Mage. Fire Mage is basically an easier Frost Mage. Absolutely easier Frost Mage. Everything that Frost Mage does, Fire Mage does it easier. Okay? The only thing that Fire Mage does not have compared to frost is the slow effects okay so fire mage most of the damage is insta cast it kind of deals some okay damage it's a little bit easier to kill but overall it's going to be much easier to play fire mage than frost mage and then we've got arcane mage arcane mage is going to be a hard spec i would even say that if you're pushing like high rating Stuff like that, Arcane is going to be an absolutely hard spec. Absolutely one of the hardest specs to play. Okay? I'm, I mean, the only specs which are going to be harder to play than Arcane are going to be Subtlety Rogues. Subtlety Rogues are insanely freaking hard. Arguably one of the hardest spec to play well. But let's pretend that you absolutely want to play a rogue spec okay want to pick up the easiest rogue spec for you it's going to be assassination rogue to deal damage as assassination rogue it's super simple on top of that it's much more forgiving than subtlety because subtlety if you are not really good at landing your cc's properly uh you're not gonna do well with that spec overall but assassination rogue is kind of um much more forgiving spec for that matter and then for the third rogue spec that we've got we've got outlaw which is going to be kind of hard to play because honestly outlaw is just juggling with casino machines that's basically it so it's going to be kind of a hard spec to play it's straightforward but you kind of need to know a little bit about world of warcraft to do well with this spec maybe you just want to roll a hunter maybe you think hunter looks cool and you're asking yourself which one is the easiest one which one deals super huge damage without much trouble and i'm gonna go with marksman hunter basically one of the easiest specs in the whole game uh to deal damage okay so if we're talking straight up about just dealing damage and doing the basic stuff as marksman hunter marksman ship hunter is going to be super easy if you're talking about being the best player possible marksman might be somewhat near the medium hard difficulty but just by a casual standpoint, Marksman is just one of the most easiest freaking fun spec ever. And then you've got Survival Hunter. Survival Hunter is going to be pretty much a hard spec. It's going to deal huge damage, pr be pretty good in one versus ones. It's going to be pretty tanky-ish somewhat. Okay, you're going to get smacked by a triple melee on you. <laughs> but uh, overall, it's going to be much harder to do well with Survival Hunter. And then you've got Beast Mastery Hunter. Bam. There we go. If you want to play a super easy spec, Beast Mastery is the spec that you need to go for. Super fun. And uh, it does not require that many keybinds. Though, it's going to require a bit more keybinds than Marksman Hunter if you want to be... Uh, 
a super good player with Beast Mastery Hunter. If you want to play a warrior, I would say the easiest freaking warrior class ever is going to be Fury Warrior. It's literally two buttons. You generate Fury and then you unleash that Fury to deal damage. So Fury Warrior is going to be a super good pick if you're looking to just casually dish out huge damage. And then you've got Arms Warrior, which is going to be between medium and hard difficulty, honestly, depending on if you're playing arenas and such. I would say you have so much more responsibilities as an Arms Warrior. It's going to take a lot more time to get good with the spec. So I'm going to put it on the medium-ish hard, I would say medium difficulty for this spec. What about Warlocks? Well, Warlocks, let's pick Affliction. Affliction Warlock is going to be a super kind of hard spec, honestly. Why it's so hard? Because as an Affliction Warlock, you're going to have to maintain uptime on your dots to be as effective as possible and deal as much damage as possible. So it's going to be kind of a learning curve to actually pull damage, pull a lot of damage on Affliction Warlock. On top of that, your survivability is kind of lame. You're going to need a healer for sure. Uh, Affliction, super fun, though it's kind of a hard spec to play. And then you've got Destruction Warlock, which is literally <laughs> hitting the easy category. Easily hitting the easy category, okay? Destruction, you don't have to worry that much. You just press your keys, you deal damage. That's pretty much it. And then we've got Demo Warlock. With Demo Warlock is kind of... You have a lot of keybinds as a Demo Warlock. The damage is kind of simple, though it's going to be hard actually doing everything correctly. And you need to cast so much with Demo Warlock. If you're playing arenas, it's going to be kind of hard actually doing good with uh, Demo Warlock. That's, that's just how the game is designed at the moment. Now, let's talk a little bit about Death Knights. Death Knight is a super cool class everybody or almost everybody likes, DKs, though there's a huge difference between uh, Frost DK, which is going to be one of the easiest freaking character in the whole game. Okay, it's going to be a little bit harder to play than Fury, but not by much, okay? So, super easy to pull your damage, pretty much everything you do do actually deal damage and then you've got unholy dk which is going to be kind of freaking hard to play because damage in itself is not the problem it's just like micromanaging all your freaking pets this is very important by the way if you really hate having too many keybinds uh you should stay away from unholy okay and just play frost dk it's going to be much easier to play frost dk and then you've got Blood DK, which is going to be most likely the easiest tank spec in the whole game, okay? Maybe Vengeance Demon Hunter is on the same par as Blood DK. As a Blood DK, you have zero responsibility. You just hit that Death Strike and you hit your defensives and you're good. You don't need to help your teammate. You don't need to use Sacrifice on your teammate. You don't do anything else than press damage and heal yourself. So if you're looking for a super good tank, which is super hard to kill, super easy to play, Blood DK is going to be your pick. Now, you've got Shamans, okay? First off, starting with Elemental Shaman. LA Shami is going to be on the medium tier uh, for difficulty, of course, because the rotation is pretty simple-ish, okay? Lava burst, lava burst, lava burst, etc. But what's happening with Ellie? The difficulty comes from the totems, okay? As an ally, you've got so many freaking totems that you need to press at the right time. Uh, Anti-fear totem, uh, you've got grounding totem, you've got like you've got so many stun totems, etc. Healing totems. It's kind of confusing as a new player. So I would say if it's your second or third character that you're playing. I would say you should try it out, but it's not going to be as easy as a Fire Mage or BM Hunter or Marksman Hunter, okay? That being said, you've got Enhancement, which is literally going to be... <laughs> which is literally going to be playing freaking Casino, okay? You're literally juggling with the odds to deal damage. First of all, you've got so many freaking Keybinds, Totems to worry about, and you're not even, like, as an 
Enhancement Chevy, you're not even topping the charts or doing anything exceptional, though you're going to need to try hard to do well with Enhancement Shaman. Then you've got Restoration Shaman, the Healing Chamois. All right, it's going to be a medium difficulty spec because again, you've got tons of totems to juggle with. And let's be honest, people just don't give an F about your totems. They just run away from them instead of just staying inside the area to protect them. So it's going to be kind of touchy to play as a new player. Let's talk a little bit about the Druids, okay? You've got Feral Druid, which is, it's very hard, okay? Let's be honest, okay? Playing Feral is just like playing piano. You, you've got so many keys, so many keybinds. If I was a new player, I would stay away from Feral for a little while. And once I get used to keybinding everything, I would most likely try to spec because it's pretty fun, though it's going to be falling into the very hard category for sure. Okay. Then you've got Bear Druid, which is going to be. It's kind of easy-ish to play, though. The difficulty comes from the fact that you've got so many freaking keybinds. That's the only thing that makes it harder than Bloody Key. But overall, I would say uh, the Tank Druid is kind of easy-ish to play. What about the Healing Druid? Restoration Druid. It's going to be, <laughs> again, it's going to be kind of hard-ish because you've got to maintain your hots on your allies healing over time effects your hots you've got to juggle a bunch of keys all together make sure everybody has the hots applied to them on top of that you've got a bunch of freaking keybinds if you, if we talk about dreads when you say dread just remember lots of keybinds okay that's the difficulty that comes from dread that's why i'm rating it harder than the rest of them now, for Balance Druid, I would say Balance is a tricky one to rate, okay? A lot of people will not agree with me, but those are pretty much people who never touch Balance Druid much, okay? So, to deal okay damage with Balance Druid is super easy. To deal good damage with Balance Druid is kind of harder. And to deal perfect damage with Balance Druid is super hard. The way it works is you have to juggle with solar eclipse lunar eclipse you've got to maintain your dots uh people say that you only need to spam starfall which is half true okay again lots of keybinds so if we're talking about straight up just playing the spec it's kind of okay ish though having so many freaking keybinds and juggling with your eclipses it's kind of confusing for a new player. So if I was a new player, I would stay away from Balance Druid for my first character and maybe roll one when I'm more used to keep binding my stuff. If you want to play a super good melee that is super easy to play, I've got you covered. We're going to take Havoc Demon Hunter and place it on the easiest freaking tier, all right? So rotation is super straightforward. Everything that you press deals huge damage. Uh, fewer keybinds than pretty much everything in here. Uh, it's super, super, super fun on top of that. And uh, you've got Vengeance Demon Hunter, which is also going uh, on the easiest tier, okay? Most likely even easier than Blood DK because you've got your self-healings baseline. You literally do your rotation and you heal yourself. That's literally... It's going to be much easier to play a Vengeance Demon Hunter than a Guardian Druid, that's for sure. Let's go with a super popular class, the Paladin, okay? Let's pick Retribution Pally. I'm going to put it on the easiest tier, just joking, okay? The damage is super, super easy to do. The thing, the thing about Retribution Pally that makes it much harder to play than let's say demon hunter or destruction warlock is the fact that you're gonna need to support your team you're gonna need to grant your team blessing of protection blessing of sacrifice you're gonna need to lay on hands on yourself on your allies you're gonna need to self-heal allies yourself etc so the damage portion is super easy it's going straight on the easiest tier by far but the part where you need to always be the freaking ambulance spec and help everything that makes it a medium spec. I would even maybe put it between medium and hard for that matter. 
the same thing for the protection pally it's going to be much harder to play protection pally because you're not a blood dk you cannot just think about yourself and heal only yourself and you've got to sacrifice people you've got to help your team a little bit but it's not as bad as a retribution pally and then you've got holy pally okay in my opinion it's going on the medium tier uh, for sure, it's going to be much easier to play than, let's say, Holy. Holy is going straight on the easy tier. It's literally the most straightforward healer possible. Holy, you literally just spam heals on your allies. You don't really use defensives on them. It's super straightforward. On top of that, you've got some pretty cool ways to avoid all damage. Just make yourself invincible, turn into an angel, and start healing your team. So it, it automatically procs whenever you die too. So it's super, super noob friendly, okay? I'm not gonna say that playing holy at the top level takes no skill, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm saying that for uh, a new player standpoint, holy is going to be a great pick, okay? Then you've got Discipline Priest, which is going to be a little bit harder than the Holy Priest, just because you've got to press that pain suppression at the right time, and you've got a little bit more cooldowns-ish to juggle with, okay? It's going to be a little bit harder for Discipline Priest, because you're going to have to focus on dealing damage too to heal your team, which is not the case for Holy Priest. Holy Priest can just chill in the back and heal their team non-stop. What about Shadow Priest? Well, Shadow Priest, if there was a category between medium and hard, I would place it right there. The reason being is because Shadow Priest, you've got a little bit of a responsibility, okay? You've got spells like Leap of Fate, you've got life swap that you need to use on your teammates at the right moment so you're you're gonna have a little bit more responsibility as a shadow priest than let's say destruction warlock okay it's going to be pretty much on par with retribution pally how you deal damage as a shadow priest is super easy though what comes with shadow priest is responsibilities just like the pally and also you've got no survivability and also everybody's trying to murder you so this is why it's falling in the hard category especially if you're playing pvp okay even though shadow breeze is kind of kind of good i would say it's going to be hard man what about windwalker monk windwalker monk falls into the easy category okay the rotation is kind of weird but what's happening is you have zero responsibility you literally only think about yourself as a windwalker you're just there to pop that fist of fury you don't need to worry about your teammates unlike retribution pallies so the rotation is a little bit harder than retribution pally but the damage in the fact that you don't need to babysit your teammates is what's making it an easy spec in my opinion okay don't throw rocks at me please i would say that miss weaver is going on the hard category okay though it's going to be much easier than restoration dread it, you're gonna need to use your whole kit to stay alive the the only thing that makes miss weaver easier than restoration dread is the fact that you've got less healing overtime effects to take care of and less keys overall not saying that you don't have many key binds on miss weaver i'm saying it's going to be much easier than resto resto i'm going to put it on very hard yeah it's it's definitely up there man it's super hard to do pretty well with a restoration dread at low level it doesn't matter but when, once you get to max level you're gonna see it's much harder to play a resto than a freaking discipline priest you're gonna see the difference and then what about preservation evoker i'm gonna squeeze it right here medium category why because it's in between everything it's not that hard at the same time it's not that easy okay the difficulty with preservation evoker is the fact that you're going to be running all over the place to heal your teammates you have zero range okay you got one inch range on your freaking heals so that means you're going to be spending most of your day just trying to catch up on your teammates and healing them so the rotation is super simple but the range kind of makes this healer a little bit harder to play augmentation evoker okay pretty special spec i would say the rotation if we're talking about rotation alone easiest easiest it's super easy though what's happening is you kind of have a lot of responsibility as augmentation evoker for an example uh you got 
to have a lot of game knowledge okay so you gotta know when your team is about to use their cooldown and burst the enemies so you use your cooldown accordingly if you don't do that you won't have that much effect in battle so i would say uh, given the fact that it has more responsibility than anything else it's going to be much harder to play than let's say the Vastation Evoker yes the Vastation Evoker is one of the easiest spec in the game if you want a straightforward caster that deals huge damage super easy uh, defensives everything's easy about the Evoker you kind of have a couple of spells to protect your team but it's not as bad as let's say Retribution Paladin and then finally you've got Brewmaster Monk which is going to be on the hard hard difficulty for Brewmaster you don't see that many Brewmasters and honestly it tells a lot oh shoot last second decision I'm gonna move Protection Pally from the easy tier to the medium I would even put it like in between medium and hard because honestly you've got a lot to worry about as a protection pally compared to let's say freaking death knight and that's pretty much it so hopefully it's going to help you new players choose a character that is hopefully more fun than complicated to play in the war within world of warcraft if you did enjoy the video please leave a like subscribe and share this video to your friends who might be interested in choosing a new character or something like that it would actually really really help the channel i'm trying to reach 15k subscribers that's a long-term goal for me so thanks a lot for watching hopefully you guys have a wonderful rest of the day and stay awesome this was clunky dude gentlemen